Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this uh, Sony Xperia Z2 and the HTC One M8 with me. And in this video, uh, we'll uh, gauge which one gets hotter and we're going to stress these phones uh, by running benchmarks and we're going to time it and we'll do this for approximately about 15 minutes. And we'll run the Antutu benchmark and the 3D mark. Uh, let's start with Antutu for both the devices and then we'll be taking the temperature, uh, the surface temperature as well as uh, the temperature at back and uh, we'll time it. Uh, so let's start it and I'm um, using this Moto G to time it. We'll do this for about 15 minutes and let's start with Antutu benchmark and I'm going to take the temperatures after about uh, two minutes or so. And I have done similar tests with other flagship devices like the Galaxy S5, Nexus 5, etc. Links for those videos will be in the YouTube show notes. And I do this because in India the ambient temperatures are pretty high. And I do frequently get emails from end users that their handsets are getting hot. So just we are testing how hot these handsets can uh, pick up when they are stressed. And again, this is not important in countries where uh, ambient temperatures are not that high, but in countries like India, outdoors it can become actually pretty hot. And these devices can become very hot. In fact, so hot they are uncomfortable to hold. Hence, uh, we are just doing this test to determine uh, how hot these phones get if you're going to stress them. Uh, again, this is not uh, outdoors. I'm in an AC environment. So outdoors, even the temperatures might increase a little bit more than what we are seeing right now here. And now it's uh, close to around 2 minutes, so let's uh, look at the temperatures now. Uh, we'll start with this HCC 1M8. Uh, at the screen, we are getting a temperature of about 31.5 degrees, 32 degrees, let's take. And, and let's look at the back also, because the back can also become uh, hot. Uh, about 35 degrees is the max that we saw, yeah, 35 degrees at the back. So let's look at the uh, Xperia Z2. And here uh, on the screen, front screen, we are getting about 36 degrees Celsius, so it's significantly hotter. And at the back, let's see, this area can also become hot. It's around 37, yeah, it's around 37, so slightly hotter than the uh, HTC One M8. But uh, again, let's look at the temperatures around the 5 minute mark. Uh, if the benchmarking for these Antutu is done, I'll run the 3D mark. That uh, simulates kind of gaming actually. As you can see, the benchmarking is done. And for the Xperia Z2, we got a score of around 32,613. So let me get out of this one now. And as you can see, uh, the HTC One M8 got slightly higher score around 38,131. Uh, so let me get out of this. Let me also just exit this. I'm just installing the 3D mark uh, on this Xperia Z2 so it will take a minute or two and then we'll continue with the 3D marks benchmarking. So I have 3D mark uh, running on both the devices as you can see nothing else is uh, running on both the devices so uh, we'll run this and uh, I've just reset the timer uh, and we'll run this for about uh, 10 or 11 minutes. Uh, the, generally this benchmark gets finished in about 2-3 three, three minutes or 3 odd minutes and when it ends, I'll just restart it uh, so that we can do it for about 11 minutes. And we're going to use the extreme setting and I'm going to run on both the devices. And we'll look at the temperatures after about uh, 2 minutes, then about 5 minutes. Uh, I'll just lower the volume on both the devices, actually move them out. One more thing that I just wanted to let you guys know is that many of you ask, uh, is this the internal temperature? No, this temperature, what we are measuring here, this is the actual surface temperature when you touch the screen. So this will be the temperature what your skin feels. This is not the internal CPU temperature. That will be a lot more than what reading we are getting. Uh, so this is the temperature uh, that your skin will feel when you're using the device. And we just completed the two minute mark. So let's look at the temperature. We'll start with the Xperia Z2 this time. And as you can see, it's very hot around 36, 37, even 39 it touched. Uh, we'll take the temperature, uh, screen temperature as about 38 degrees for the Xperia Z2. Here, 39 it's going. Let's take it at 39. 
let's look at the back that's pretty hot uh, the back is 42 degrees 43 degrees Celsius about 45 was the max that we registered uh, yeah 45.7 in fact let's look at this HTC one M8 we we'll take the and actually it's pretty cool as you can see it's just around 34 degrees Celsius not hot at all not that hot let's look at the back how it fares uh, 36 degrees Celsius 37 at the back let's look near the camera not that hot 36 about 37 degrees Celsius so definitely a lot cooler than the Xperia uh, Z2 uh, let's look at the temperatures after about uh, two minutes and the res uh, benchmarking was just done on this one so let's look at the temperature again uh, screen is just about 34.4 not that hot and just finished on the Xperia Z2 also back is around 36 37 we can take yeah max it does 37 so we'll take it as 37 let's look at the Xperia Z2 screen again it's, as you can see it's pretty hot it's around uh, 30, 40 degrees Celsius that's pretty hot and let's look at the back back is also about 40 degrees Celsius yes, as you can see yeah about 40 degrees Celsius so let's run this one again uh, one more time let's go to the let's run it again on both these devices uh, I actually have made a video uh, with this Xperia Z2 links will be in the show notes and uh, while doing heavy gaming for about 20-25 minutes uh, the temperature at the back actually touched around 52 degrees Celsius that was insanely hot and uh, the surface temperature I was getting max of around uh, here on the screen front portion was 46 degrees Celsius uh, HTC One M8 did not get that hot but let's uh, run this one more for about five minutes at the 10 minute mark we'll look at the temperatures again and now we are almost close to the nine minute mark so let's uh, take the temperatures we'll start with the uh, z2 again as you can see uh, 41.6 was the max that it registered on the screen yeah almost 42 41.9 that's almost 42 let's look at the back how does the back fare back is 45 uh, 46 degrees was the max it registered we take it at 46 the back and that's pretty hot i would say anything above 42 gets really uncomfortable again you notice the m8 screen getting a max of about 36.8 let's take it at 36 Seven, yeah and let's look at the back back is around 40 degrees Celsius so yes it's not cold but it's not as hot as the Xperia Z2 so I hope that you found this uh, video helpful I have made quite a few other videos on this HTC One M8 as well as the Xperia Z2. Links for those videos will be in the YouTube show notes. I hope that you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching this video. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.